So hello children, we move on to our part 4 of our lesson on percentage. Here we will see how we solve question of this pattern. Let us recapitulate. So this format I have given you earlier also. So percentage of whole is a part. So here in this particular question we 7 and a half percent of a number is 45. So we have this percentage there and part is given we have to find the whole in this particular question. So such question generally I have seen children we take the whole let the number NO stands for number shortcut B Y generally we take X. So let the number B Y. So as per question what we see seven and a half percent of a number of y is 45 definitely the number will be quite big because seven and a half percent is 45 so if you have seen my previous video i explained to you there that when percentage goes 100 comes down okay so first what we will do we'll convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction 7 twos are 14 plus 1 15 by 2 percent so and when percent means actually 1 upon 100 so 100 comes down or children percent means denominator is 100 so if you want to remember 6 percent means children this is a symbolic representation of 6 by 100 so seven and a half percent children is seven and a half upon 100 so we write it like this okay seven and a half is 15 by 2 into this into y is 45 so we have to keep y on one side children so here we could have cancelled or we can cancel uh, we can take it to the other side so denominator of left side goes to numerator 100 goes up 2 goes up what comes down children 15 comes down so we know 15 threes are 45 you have to be very good at tables so 3 twos are 6 into 100 we get 600 okay so you can verify the answer also seven and a half percent of 600 will be 45 so kindly pause the video and copy then we take one more question from 9 this was children 9b then one more question we will do from 9 then we will go to question 10 and 11 so next we move on to 9 part c so in the same logic this is percentage children of a number is 36 means 36 is part of the whole so let the number let the number be a children or x generally let us take x because a is coming in sentence so for as per question this is what question is saying we are putting that question in this format very useful format in my previous two three video you will see I have explained especially in part two and three I think how we can get all the three you can see my part two and part three this is part four video how we get the percent how we get the whole and how we get the part so this particular question we are trying to find how to find the whole when percentage part is given as a percent so this of x is 36 4.8 percent of x is 36 so 4.8 percentage means upon 100 i told you percentage goes 100 comes in the denominator this is the meaning this is written like this percentage means whose denominator is 100 percentage means like 4.8 percent means a number whose numerator is this 4.8 but denominator is 100 so percentage goes 
Off means into x children is equal to 36. One small thing we do when decimal is removed from numerator, one place here, 10 comes down. So simply I'll transpose 36 into here, we will get 100 into 10 goes up and 48 will come down. So 12 threes are 12 fours are. If we cancel 4 25s are is 100. So we get children 3 into 25 is 75 and 1 0. So you can check this and if you need you just tell me for cancellation since you are in class 6 cancellation I can make a separate video because uh, this for class 6 children I know is little harder. Once more we transpose this two on the other side denominator goes to numerator numerator comes in denominator 12 threes I could have done with two also children generally try to do with HCF highest common factor two you could have done I think three also you could have done so 12 threes are 12 fours are 12 is HCF the biggest number the highest number which will divide the both same way here four twenty fives are you could have done with 250 then second step once more but try to do with the biggest number possible so your chances of making mistakes are less so we get 75 3 into 25 into 10 is 750 so if you have any problem i can make a separate video on cancellation maybe next video i'll teach you how in an easy way because this cancellation will be there in most of the branches of mathematics so i'll make a separate video for that so kindly pause the video and copy then we move on to question 10 and 11. So now we move on to question number 10 part A. What percent of 40? So see here, uh, in this situation we have to find percent. Okay, so whole is given. What percent whole is given and part is given? This is the whole children. Okay, and this is the part, in fact this is the half, so you will see answer is 50%, suppose in an exam of 40 marks, you get 20, so out of 40 you get half, out of 100, percentage means out of 100 you will get 50, so you can use this format, but I will tell you the easiest way when you find the percentage, uh, it is an outcome of this format only. Percentage is, you can see my part 1 video, I think. Percentage is part by whole. And when percentage comes, children, I told you it comes with 100%. So, right part 20 is, what percentage of 40 is 20? Means 20 is part and 40 is whole. And when percentage comes, children, please see my part 1, 2, 3 video. And 2 video I have made for class 8. Okay, you can go to playlist. You must know how to go to playlist and see some shortcut method I have done for class 8. So here you cancel 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. 2 will cancel 100 with 50. So next video will be on cancellation, children how we do here once more 0 0 we cancel 2 1 2 2 2 4 so up and down we cancel with the common factor but generally if you do with the highest common factor again there are many 10 12 videos on a chapter called playing with numbers so all the basic concept of lcm hcf i have done there so if you see my playlist the beginning 10 15 20 videos are based on that so 50 percent is the answer okay so then we will go to one more part of question number 10 before we go to question 11. So next we move on to question number 10 part C. So this is 10 C, 10 A I have done. What percent of 150 is 45? Again. If you do mental maths, percentage is very important to be done mentally. 150, so that's why I said you see class 8 video, 10% is 15. So 100% like this mental maths, you get 150, 10% children, you remove 10%. 
you remove 1 0 you get 15 so if you take th 3 times 10 this side will be 30 and this side you will get 45 so what we get children 30 percent of 150 will be 45 10 percent is 1 tenth so see my class 8 video okay then you will understand it better so answer will be 30 percent so see how we do 45 is the part whole is 150 and we have to bring percent so same format it comes children 15 threes are so 0 0 we cancel 15 threes are 30 percent so this mental maths method is very important children so i think one uh, first and second two part video in class 8 will explain you that concept that 10 percent generally you remove one zero okay one uh, percent if you find either two zero a decimal place comes to the two place left so with this idea we move on to question number 10 part e then we will go to question 11 so next part we see what percent of 75 is 10 so 10 part whole is 75 when percentage comes it comes with so 25 threes are 25 fours are we could have done with 5 5 if you see this children we could have done in two steps also 5 if you cancel 5 ones are 5 2 there 5 fives are 25 5 twos are 10 and 0 5 threes are 15 again with 5 twice with 5 5 fours are 20 so i have done directly with 25 so you can do like that 5 will get 15 5s are 75 25 is a 100 and then again with 5 5 fours are 20 5 threes are 15 so as i told you i'll try to make uh, one video on cancellation so nothing will cancel here we get 40 by 3 percent if you convert it to a mixed fraction 3 ones are 3 1 0 3 threes are 9 so a remainder is 1 so 40 by 3 is 13 1 by 3 percent children so 10 is 13 1 by 3 percent of your 40 so let me write this clearly 13 1 by 3 percent so once more we get 40 by 3 percent write percent nicely children 3 1s are 3 then 1 comes 4 minus 3 is 1 3 3s are 9 so remainder goes up and 3 comes here so with this uh, question this is 10 part e we will go to question last question of this exercise and that is question 11 so kindly pause the video and copy then we move on to question 11 so the last question is very interesting children this is like question 6 we have to arrange one fraction one decimal and one person in ascending order children ascending order means small to big okay ascending order you ascend so if you are moving so when you go from small uh, to big uh, here i have shown that by height okay so which is the smallest and which is the biggest so i have to convert everything as a one thing either i convert all to decimal or all i convert to a fraction or all i convert to a person so what i'll try children is to convert all to percent because this is a chapter on percentage percentage and percent are almost same thing so here let this be like that five by eight children if i convert I taught you from the very part one video whenever you want to find percent percent comes with 100 and when percentage goes 100 comes down so let us cancel with 2 only we get 50 again it will do with 225 so this is children 25 into 25 is 125 by 2 and percentage remains so this is 
if you convert it into a mixed fraction uh, this will be 62 and a half okay this will be 62.5 or 62 and a half you can convert here 125 by 2 this is how generally we were taught to do 2 6 are 12 5 comes okay 2 2 is a 4 1 remainder this 2 comes here divisor I think divisor dividend quotient remainder so remainder goes up and divisor comes here so next one decimal children if you bring percentage 0 0.603 so we multiply by 100 percent to bring percent so 100 means when you multiply the decimal will go to the two place to the right so this becomes 60.3 percent so children see we have 62 62 and a half and 60.3 so this is the smallest this is the smallest then comes this this then this so if you want to write the answer kindly copy this okay then i'll show you how we write the final answer so in ascending order children the smallest is uh, 60.3 so smallest 60.3 stands for 603 so you have to go back again go back to the same format next is your smallest than 62 percent so this is the smallest okay this is the smallest then next is your 62 percent which i did not do anything and the largest you see is 5 by 8 children because 5 by 8 as a percentage is 62 and a half percent so this is the largest this is the smallest and this is the largest among the three five by eight is 62 and a half percent this is 62 percent and this is 60.3 so just to see what we have done this is 60.3 this is in percentage format this is 62 as it was given and this is 62 and a half but actually children you have to convert this answer because this is originally given in question so we see this is the smallest and this is the largest so with this we come to the end of this video lesson kindly solve all the solved example and all the unsolved example thank you children for watching this video lesson